It's your boy with the most flows, the most dope videos. It's your boy Godly coming at you with a video for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today's topic, we are talking about gunfight. And for those who don't know what gunfight is, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody who's coming through to the video, or even since the game's been out for a little bit, knows. But if you don't, it's a 2v2 gun mode. It's new for this franchise. I mean, it's for any other franchise like Gears or Halo, it's not really the newest thing. But it's the Call of Duty's, you know, twist on the the wingman experience where two people you know the, the both the two amigos the dynamic duo everything you guys go at it against another dynamic duo and see who comes out on top now again this playlist in general is is pretty brilliant but it can be utterly unforgiving since uh hands time on the actual game mode it's it's a hardcore experience meaning like if you take damage then you're just gonna have to deal with it you won't regen, but your screen will go clear, so that's a bonus. But you gotta actually be mindful of the stuff you do, because anything can t anything can change the tide of the battle. It really can. So instead of trying to blame lag or blame your KD is not up, so you're trying to camp it, it, re it really is you're working together to dispose of the enemy team. So it's a fun game mode, so don't be scared if you haven't played it yet. But in the in terms of victory and failure it really it, it, it comes to the point of you got to learn from your failures because if you mess up and you know it then you you messed up you got to accept it so the actual game that i'm showing you right now i actually didn't do that great i really didn't no normally the roles are switched opposite with my uh, my duo uh solid dirt ghost my boy austin we normally uh I, I normally can slay a good amount very consistently, but I do have my moments where I just, you know, I can't capitalize. But everyone is not perfect. Everyone has those bad games. But it's like, in the gist of it, you as a person, you got to recognize how how you're going about it. Like, if you see you're starting to struggle and then starting to mess up, then it's like, you don't want to just straight rage, punch your TV, throw the Xbox, you know, etc. Blame this, that, and this. It's more of like, you want to get down to the bottom of it. So... What I normally do if I'm starting to do bad or I didn't capitalize on something or I'm starting to notice stuff is I start trying to study my opponent. Like, you start w wanting to study the patterns that they do. Now, with this team, they weren't afraid to push, but they weren't afraid to sit back. So there's normally like one person sitting back, one person pushing. Or if it came to the, the gist of it, it was more of a... More of to get the lead to just rush. Now, this team is normally doing... They, I mean, they were in good positioning and stuff but get peeped to stun out if you want to rewind that real quick actually he stunned the opposite side of the wall and it hit me so i mean bad luck on me i was a little salty when it happened but you just got to get over it but in terms of that you want to study the people patterns so like patterns could be very a generic term but in terms of being specific with it you want to know like say what they're going to do what triggers them to do like say, yeah my boy austin puts the flag which triggered the other guy who wasn't there at the flag to just trigger him to run in. A normal a person right, would, I mean, since no, hold on, hold on. Now, since when you take the flag in game mode or this in gunfight, it actually it takes like three, I think three seconds solid just to literally take the flag. So, again, right here, this clip, me getting tagged by the enemy team, but since I knew that they were pushing pretty hard. I wanted to see if he can, uh, if he was gonna commit to the push. But since I was low on health, we did trade blows. But unfortunately, I didn't come out on top. But it is what it is. I can't get mad at it. I can't win every gunfight, but I can damn well give near it perfectly almost. So once you start get, guessing the patterns, what triggers them, what they're, what they might be good at, then you want to try and get deeper within it. You want to try and guess their mindset. And what I mean by that is, right, uh, you can take the most subtle things. Out of every gaming experience it doesn't even have to be in a 2v2 mode you can take the most subtle things like like yeah again he called me he was in good positioning for some reason i didn't i didn't think they the switch to my secondary to run faster since a pistol will be lighter than a shotgun so again he had the better knowledge of the game he beat me to it and he got the round for it so it, it really is the small decisions of what you do so guessing their mindset wise is you can you can bring dumb it down to peaking, you can dumb it down to objective play, or you can dumb it down to just in general that how much time is left, how much health is left. You're, you're not gonna get lucky as uh, he can one shot me across the the map with a marksman rifle, but he hit a shot, he got a one hit kill. It is what it is. But 
you gotta just you gotta take it with a grain of salt. You really do, cause you don't want to just be salty the whole rest of the match. You, you're apologizing to your teammate. I mean, I was apologizing for some of it, but I told him like, I'm gonna try. All I need is just one kill, and then I can just keep going. So you really want to get on with that. And then for mindset, it seems like even still when it's a one v two situation, they don't push. They don't. Unless you're in proximity, they don't really go actively hunting. Like, even still, my boy, uh, my wingman just actually won that match. So, again, guessing their mindset is you might be pin on accurate. You you might not be completely off the wall, or they might just be in random. But this comes to my next point is learning the line of sights. I mean, once you get a, you know, a, a familiarity... Of every you know map they have currently in gunfight, then it's like you start learning these tricks of the trade. You start learning some certain line of sights that can cover a certain extent of the map, where you can get map knowledge from it. And depending on the weapon you have, you can adjust to what is going on. Even if it's a pistol, as long as you can get a shot in from a distance, that, that still counts. Every bullet in this game mode that hits a person counts. So you, you don't want to dismiss that. Oh, excuse me about that. But the next part that I want to get in with is the weapons and equipment. Now, I mean, this is a generic thing. Everyone knows that I want to say roughly everyone is comfortable with an assault rifle and submachine gun. But you do have the outliers of a light machine gun pops up. You might not like it. Like the light machine I have currently in my hands is like, I mean, this is kind of like a hybrid of a assault LMG almost. But it's just been classified as a LMG in this game. But in reality, you can still run around with this gun. It's just, it's just a little slower. So it's more of like, you got to just be mindful. Of, if you got a heavier gun, just take your time going around corners. Don't try and run in, you know, ADS because you might not win the fight. But in reality, everyone has the same gun. So everyone might have the mindset. Everyone might not have the mindset. But again, off the beginning of the match, you want to always... You don't have to always do it, but you want to always try and get at least a tap in. Just a little, just a little tap -roo on the enemy team to help out in the long run. Because you never know, that one snippet or one little flicker hit marker of uh, health gone, then that would be a good thing for you to win the round. So, actually, ended up doing bad this match. Uh, I don't remember, but I think I started off 0-4, and, and now it was... I think 0-4, and, and now it was like 2-6, to six, but... I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but um, going into the next part besides weapons and equipment, when you see that it stuns or flashes or grenades, please take note of that. Take note of the enemy team uh, when they use their equipment because that can really ruin you. That really can ruin you because of, say, only one person threw the stun, but in reality, you, you have no idea. You never took note of it. So you're thinking going into a 1v1 situation, oh, he doesn't have a stun or you're just in the heat of the moment. He stuns you, you're out in the open, he gets the free kill, and now you're, you're beating yourself about it. Like, dang, like my teammate didn't make the call out. Then again, I didn't even know. When you ask him, he didn't know. So it's more about you want to keep note of that right after the whenever they use it. Just call it out. Make note of it whenever they use their lethals or equipment. Because that in the end, like every literally, like, I know it, it sounds tedious, but literally every single thing that happens you want to call out to your teammate you want to have that communication now if you're with your random you can still go to if you don't i mean if you feel comfortable you can still go in the game chat <laughs> and um still call out just practicing even if they're not talking to you just practice and peep out that uh that round i just won like that was just a, a solid a solid example of i knew the objective was coming up with the flag and i knew it was only three seconds so I know one person was at this little uh, greenhouse to the left, and then the right person would either have to be in the building to my right or in the back. So I was prepared to go to war. I was prepared to contest the left person peeking, but I was more ready to react to the right. So say if the person on the right would have came out right off the bat, I would have committed all my focus and energy on him. But since they both kind of, they kind of hesitated, I got the win easily. So that was that was like a sneaker, like a sneak in win. So, I just wanted to cut that in real quick. I know I'm, I'm, it might sound like I'm bragging, but it was a real ballsy move. It really was. Now, with this, Molotov, one side of the... Yeah, this was a perfect play. Molotov, the middle, underside of the bridge, because I figured... In my mind, I was thinking these might rotate to the middle to get a better angle. So, I wanted to cut that off. And then, while I'm pushing to the flag, stun the, my side of the... 
my side of the underside of the bridge. So then if he was out in the open, that was a that was a stun. I could have easy inflow of all right, he must be right next to the mount off or he's in that little specific hallway to the right. So it's always like you always your your equipment and stuff, you always wanna get kinda gamble. If you can get a hit right off the bat with your leaf still at the beginning of the match, by all means do it. But if you save it to the if you say that to the end of the match, like your in your end of game presence or of uh I see yeah. I'm trying to think of a word like lethal ability at the end of the match. Like your 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 survivability will increase because it's it, it literally can change the tide of the game. So another one with that is callouts. So to be honest, it, there really isn't any set callouts. I mean, unless there is, even after this video or during the video, if there is, there is. But in terms of callouts, that should just be up to you and your teammate. If you play duos current or a lot. But if you're playing with a generic random or stuff, chances are they might not know unless, you know, they're a fellow sweat or someone who actually, you know, is a little knowledgeable about the game. But currently, I don't know. I honestly don't know any callouts, but I'll, I'll kind of just make, you know, ran, not random callouts, but generic callouts like the color of the building or what side it's on or the opposite of our spawn or et cetera. Like, just, just try and do your best so the other person can understand and vice versa if they can't make out you know, what they want to say in the game, then don't don't be mad at them. It, it, it is what it is. It's just a game. Unless you're getting paid for it, then kudos to you. <laughs> but anyway, uh, next thing that I want to get at is to, let's see, it's discovering the bonuses of a gunfight. Overall, a gunfight, you literally, you discover what playstyle you suck at, meaning if, Say uh say um a marksman rifle, assault rifle combo happens in gunfight and you find yourself rushing but you're losing the gunfights, this might maybe rushing might be might not be your fortitude, but maybe, you know, being a little passive in the beginning and then going into a rush mindset or being passive the whole match just to throw off the, the momentum of the enemy team or etc. So it it really is it really is um a good way to play this playlist. So you really do figure out the nooks and crannies of what the little tweaks and stuff you can make to your own gameplay. Because in this game, any gun can melt. Uh, I mean, well, any assault rifle, sub, LMG, they can they can pretty much melt. I I feel as though the Uzi is kind of under par. Currently, I haven't used almost every gun. I haven't. Like right now, for subs, that gun is pretty trash. Um. For shotguns, shotguns are shotguns. I mean, depending on the caliber of the gun, then you might know the range. So it's it's more right. It, it really is. You just it's. I want to say weapon knowledge and then map awareness and then the ability to make those critical decisions, depending on the situation. I mean, what I mean by that is either you're getting pushed with minimum health, or if you manage to win a gunfight and you hear the other enemy person coming on you, or oh my god, that sounded off. <laughs> if you hear the other enemy team coming at you, then you know that you need to adjust accordingly. So it, it, that is something you more or less learn. Um, it's not really, you know, taught. I mean, you can maybe taught the aspects of it, like examples. But in terms of that, you kind of figure out as you play it. But I'm sure a lot of you know as it is. Uh, shout out if you've been listening to this video still f or so far. If you want to drop a like real quick. That really supports the channel. It shows me that you are interested in the criteria of the well videos I'm dropping and anything else. So, with that being said, I want to get at the temperament and you know the the mindset of when you're losing the match. Now, approaching a losing battle where it's like say zero and three, you and your teammate are messing up, or it just might be generally you. Now. You want to gather yourself like, all right, what am I doing wrong? If it, Is it something I'm doing wrong? Maybe I'm getting unlucky positions. May, or maybe I'm getting unlucky shots. Or maybe my position's off. Maybe my aim is wrong. Maybe I need to be a little bit more passive. Or maybe I just need to just do something totally unpredictable to the enemy. So it's it's really like discovering what you can do. And if it's out of your reach, then it's out of your reach. You might win every battle. You might not win every battle. But in terms of you know the mentality of it, do your best, recognize when you're doing not that great at the given time, and proceed with that as always. Even with this, is seeing that it was a 1v2. Now, in a 1v2, you would think the 2v1 
or you know, oh, hold on. I, before I confuse people, you would think the two man squad will push the one on the one person, but since they were playing pretty passive, I made the read to slowly get up there, try and you know put all my energy to one since I knew they were separated. Took one out. The other person got a, a beautiful flank and managed to put some pressure on him and made him run for it and got the easy kill with the pistol. So. And since he will look at this, even the even the tide of the battle changed off the round. I was trying to see if I can contest the person running to get a few shots, but the other guy mounted, lasered me down, and he got that kill. So it, it really is, it, it really is like a game of chess. It's like it literally is like search and destroy, but except it's only two two v two. It's more I wouldn't say intimate, but it's more it's more intense per se since it's. <coughs> Sorry about that. I might be getting sick, but that's not the issue. The point is, is that in the two v two, it is a lot more intense. It's a lot more of you. It's it's a little less room for error, since it's you and your teammates. So you you both of you can't really complain, unless it's it's you two in general. There's really no other way to put it. It's it's really the performance of you and your teammate versus the other team. And seeing how good they are, and seeing how you can adjust if accordingly. So, with that, you know. So with the attitude when playing, you want to do that. Um, but if nothing really seems to work, honestly, my opinion into that matter is to slow it down. Even if you're playing like a snail already, slow it down some more. It, it, like really taking your time. And not rushing into situations just because you're angry or just because you're saying F it. It really does help. Because in a general, uh, any you know, in any other game mode or any other game in general, you want to take your time. You really do want to take your time. So adjust, read your opponent. Uh, what else? Read your opponent's patterns, guess in their minds that you want to learn the line of sights of the, you know, the maps you like. Even the maps you don't even like. If you can make the stuff that you dislike or you suck at, then strengthening the stuff you suck at. So then when you get back into that fight, you're better. You're you're literally better with a gun you don't even like. So it's like you, you want to triple down on your weakness. Yeah, triple down on your weaknesses, not your strengths. That's what you want to do. Focus on your call outs and taking notes on the enemy usage. Now, I mean, not literally taking notes, but take a mental note of, hey, they both did their stuns at the uh, beginning of the match. So now we know that they're, they're out of equipment, but they still have whatever lethals that is out on the actual game mode. So that, that can really become a change in the battle. Um, uh, peaking in health, you know, always keep in mind of the health. Uh, peaking, learning those lines of sights. Uh, discovering what guns uh, or play style you suck at. Recognizing your temperament. Always having that, that mindset and attitude that no matter if I win or lose, this won't carry into the next game. Or I will have the mind capacity to adjust of me losing to win this match. So, always ask yourself if you can make a weak point of your game better, how would you do it? So, I'm going to cut it off right here for the video. Uh, I was rambling on a good minute. I was trying to not do a bunch of editing just to get across my point, but really do, really do, you know, not, not sit down, but just approach the match a different way. Instead of calling the other team sweats or bums or any other derogatory term that you would like to call them, literally, instead of hating them, study them. And you will see, I, I, I truly believe you will, I, I, I really do truly believe you will find a better outcome of the match. You will literally find a better understanding of anything in life, really. I mean, this is my life lesson for you. This golly, fa Snapple facts, by the way. But... I really do think that when you start feeling that anger, that sorrow, that sadness, or that lack of focus, or any or anything in general that bring that can bring your positivity down, just slow it down, and then dive deep into it and studying who you're going against, and then figure out, and then figure out what you need to do to overcome it. I mean, it, it might it, even if they're like, yeah, I mean, hey, you never know. Even if they're sending you messages and call you this, that, and this, don't let it get to you. Really, just don't. But now I'm, I'm starting to ramble. Um, if you like what you heard, if you like me rambling and stuff, you know, leave a like, leave a dislike, tell me, give me your feedback. It really doesn't matter. 
it, it tells me what I need to work on, what kind of content to drop on this game. And speaking of which, I'm already rendering another video, and then, oh, you guys are gonna love it. It's just know that if it involves uh, throwing knives. So if you're into that, stay tuned this week. I'm gonna be dropping another video. It's gonna be crazy. I'm, I'm already working on it. Trust me and believe. But as always, stay godlike.